and welcome to this video today we're gonna talk about differential equations so these equations are not so simple because their solution are a bunch of functions and the function f is defined by y equals f of x is a possible solution to our differential equation if and only if y and all of its derivatives satisfy the equation so one of the easiest differential equations to solve are the first order equation having the form dy all over dx is equivalent to f of x so uh, that can be solved uh, easily all right so you can actually write uh, dy and cross multiply this so we can write dy is equivalent to um, f of x times dx and later on we're gonna find an antiderivative uh, for this thing and it will be a part of our solution so it will not be difficult if we know the value of f of x so another type of differential equation which is uh, uh, in the first order and it's in the form dy all over dx um, is equivalent to g of x all over h of y so here you will see that we have two functions uh, one function of x in the numerator and one function of y in the denominator so the technique here is to separate all right so move the x with the x and move the y with the y so you can actually see that uh, it will end up h of y all right times dy is equivalent to g of x dx all right so there are a lot of function that follows this form and later on uh, we'll try to make use of them and solve some equation all right about this so uh, there are a lot of useful things that uh, we can solve using this equation and uh, we'll do that uh, later so take note that the left side only involves the variable y and the right hand side and only involves variable x hence we can uh, separate the and uh, we can call them separable differential equations well some are separable some are not but uh, we should try our best to separate the variables from one another because that's uh, that will help us to solve better with ease all right, so derivative and antiderivative, they have their relationship and they are uh, related with the first fundamental theorem of uh, calculus that states that uh, let the function f be continuous in a closed interval. So that's very important. And uh, we want it to be um, continuous in the closed interval a, b, and also let the derivative of and antiderivative be continuous in uh, the closed interval a b and let x be in the interval so if such a function exists then let us define it as um, f of x all right is equivalent to the integrand of a to x all right so um, f of t dt all right so here uh, you will see that this is the entire function f of x all right and uh, here is uh, what makes the function uh, f of t, all right? So, I mean to say if we wanted to invert and get the antiderivative of this, uh, we're going to differentiate, and that's gonna be uh, the f prime, all right? So the here, the f prime is equivalent to a derivative of uh, this function all over dx. And that's, uh, that's just uh, equivalent to f of x. So uh, we can say that uh, the um, antiderivative yep, of f of x is equivalent to this one. So and uh, if you integrate um, f of x, so you will we'll find f. So it's actually the inverse of the other. So there are proof uh, about the first fundamental theorem and you can actually try to search in the web. So, but right now I just wanted you to see um, the relationship between the uh, derivative and the anti-derivative. All right, so if you anti-differentiate this thing, 
all right so you you do this you will find the f effect okay so if you do this you'll find the derivative all right so i hope you understand that so uh, here um it's easy to show that this is um dy all right so we are going to anti-differentiate the dy all right and uh, that's gonna be equivalent to f of x all right so differentiate that then dx so we'll see and uh, following the formula we're gonna have y is equivalent to f of x plus c So here, this equation uh, represents a family of functions depending on the arbitrary constant, so depending on this one. So let's try to solve for some differential equation. All right, so this is the first differential equation that we are going to solve. And uh, you know that the function would be dy is equivalent to 2x dx all right and you know that this is gonna be dy and then uh, 2x and then uh, plus c all right so and doing the anti-differentiation would uh, give us um x squared all right so you have y is equivalent to how how did that happen so two x raised to the power of 1 plus 1 and then this is the new the power or exponent you divide it by 2 so you cancel out and then you add c so y is equivalent to x squared plus c all right so that's how we do it all right so there we go. So because P2 and C1 are arbitrary function, we can write uh, C, okay? So you can actually transpose to the other side and uh, yeah, this is the final answer. There we go. So now let's consider this equation yeah, so it's a little bit tricky, you know. And uh, once we differentiate on both sides of the equation, we can now write all right. So here is uh, h of y is equivalent to g of x plus t. Okay. So this is in the second order, all right? So the second derivative of y with respect to x is equivalent to f of x. So in this type of equation, it's needed to use successive anti-differentiation. So there are two. So to eliminate that one, so you need to uh, twice the anti-differentiation to complete the solution. So expect that two arbitrary constant for the first differentiation, we have one constant there, second constant for the second anti-differentiation. The complete solution is therefore represents two parameter family of uh, the function. Okay, so let's try to solve this one. And uh, this is the uh, second order, all right? So you have 4x plus 3. So first thing first, uh, we differentiate, anti-differentiate rather. So we try to separate the variables and then try to anti-differentiate. Alright. So y prime is equivalent to 2x squared plus uh, 3x plus 1. 
but this is not done yet so we need another anti-differentiation process to the, the integration process so uh, you have y plus uh, c sub 2 is equivalent to 2 thirds x to the power of 3 plus 3 over 2 x squared plus c sub 1 x all right so this is the complete solution yay that's the complete solution So find the particular solution of the differential equation given by the condition. Yeah. So when x is equal to 3. So we have uh, a first order right here. Okay. So and uh, we need to uh, differentiate and uh, differentiate once. So we're going to have x squared minus 2x minus 4 so that's the process so and to differentiate we have one third x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 4x plus uh, c sub 1 all right so we can actually substitute the value and uh, get so what's the value of x there so x is 3, we have the uh, y is equal to negative 6. Alright, so we have to substitute negative 6 is equivalent to 1 third, 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 3 squared minus uh, uh, 12. Alright, so this is negative 6 is equivalent to 9 uh, minus 9 minus 12. Alright, so you're gonna have um, 12 minus 6 is equivalent to uh, c sub 1 and uh, 6 is equal to 3 sub 1 so our equation is y is equal to 1 third x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 4 and x plus 6 so that's the price that we have learned how to solve differential equations but there are a lot more and uh, stay tuned for our next videos on uh, mathematics and about differential equation.